Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brie and today we're gonna do another shuffle tutorial, a footwork tutorial. I took a poll on my Instagram asking you guys um, what you wanted to see from me on my YouTube channel and the majority of the uh, responses were shuffle tutorials and footwork tutorials. So I thought my next two videos um, would be geared towards shuffling to help you guys get some of my favorite moves down. Um, which by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's rude. <laughs> You're missing out on giving me feedback for what you want more of to see on my channel. Um, but anyway, so in today's video, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down um, three cutting shapes moves and then um, we're going to put them together in my next video for a combo. Um, I'm going to be teaching you the choreography, if you will, choreography for one of my recent reels to a Fisher song. Now if you are a dancer and you don't listen to Fisher, oh my gosh, she has, you probably already do, but he has the vibiest like mm, some good stuff. So this tutorial is beginner friendly, it's for everyone, it's for anyone, whether you've shuffled before or you've never shuffled before or cut shapes before, it doesn't matter. Anyone can do these moves. Today we're going to be learning toe taps, a T-step variation along with the cowtail because these are the three main moves that are going to be in the choreography that I'm going to be teaching you in my next video. So I wanted to do this little breakdown to help you um, really understand the moves because um, these are just some of the most popular shapes moves that I put into like my dances and I know a lot of people do as well. So um, they're kind of like fundamentals to shapes. So i am be teaching you them as well. I also have past shuffle tutorials where we've done um, the running man variations, we've done um, soccer kicks, Charleston slash crisscross. So be sure to check out my shuffle playlist if you want more tutorials as well. Um, let's jump right into it. So we're still in the rental. I moved the furniture to turn the bedroom into a dance floor, which actually gives me more room than in my last tutorial when I was in the living room. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it works today. Um, I wanted to remind you before we jump in to make sure that you are warm, that you've done a little bit of a warm up because um, these moves that we're learning, they're gonna be, they're gonna be fast. And they're also going to take like ankle mobility. So before I shuffle, I always roll out my ankles. Super important. I mean, you don't want to get injuries. You don't want to strain anything. So just make sure you're loose. You're warming it up. <laughs> um, you can also do a bunch of stretches and stuff as well. But we're just going to roll, our, roll out our ankles together really quickly. And then also remember too that when you're learning new moves, it's going to feel really awkward and really uncomfortable in the beginning. Um, I don't have a dance background and so if you're like me and you're learning dance, which is something completely new that I've never done before, maybe you've never done before, um, give yourself the grace to learn it because uh, it's confusing. You feel like you have two left feet um, and because I don't have a jack, uh, background in dance, it took me like five times as long to learn how to shuffle than it takes like most people. <laughs> That's okay. Just remember that you're on your own journey. You're in your own lane. Uh, but the first move we're going to learn is the toe tap. Now the toe tap is super simple. All it looks like is we, hopefully you can see me, we are just going to tap our feet. And you can like move around with it. You can go faster. You can, you know turn it into something funky. So all toe tap is, is we are gonna tap our toe, tap our heel, tap our toe, tap our heel. Same with our other foot. Tap our toe, tap our heel, tap our toe. And when I'm learning moves, I just go nice and slow in the beginning to kind of just get the mobility, kind of, you know, see what it feels like. And then we can speed it up a little bit. Toe, tap, toe, tap. Um, when I learn new moves, I always learn them in a micro bounce, which is where I um, start like pretty much all the shuffle moves that you see um, me do. I always start within like my micro bounce. Um, and so when I'm learning a toe tap, I'm just gonna jump with it. Toe, tap. Other foot. Toe, tap. Um, so it's really simple. This is, this is the easiest move that we're gonna learn today. 
And the reason why I'm teaching this is because in the choreography we learn in the next video, we're gonna do it fast. We're gonna be toe tap, toe tap, toe tap. Um, so I wanna be sure that I have taught the fundamentals before I just kinda like lay it on ya <laughs> in the next video. So the next move that we're gonna learn is a T-step variation. Most moves in shuffling stem from some sort of T-step and all the T-step is, is it looks like this. Like your foot is going in and out. So the variation that we're gonna learn that we're gonna do in the choreography is gonna look like this. Don't worry, we're gonna break it down. Um, like I was saying earlier, I like to learn moves in the micro bounce. So I'm gonna teach it to you in a micro bounce, the way that I learn pretty much all of my moves. Um, so we're gonna start with our toes pointed in. Now we're gonna bring our toes out, to toes out. It's literally as simple as this. Toes in, toes out. Toes in, toes out. Toes in, out. In, now we're gonna speed it up, out. In, out. Now that we have the movement down, you're gonna be able to jump quickly so it looks like you are sliding your feet or pivoting your feet. So when we speed it up and we do the move quickly, we're gonna keep the weight on our toes and um, we're just gonna go in and out. So ready, we're gonna start with our toes. They're gonna point out, now our toes in. And we're just gonna speed it up and see we're just kind of pivoting on our toes. And you can, you know, get funky with it and then you can turn it into a little bit of a Charleston. But here, what we're gonna do is we are gonna cowtail from it. I hope that makes sense. Um, those two moves are, they're pretty simple. They just take getting the muscle memory down. So don't be frustrated with yourself. When learning something new, especially if it's something that is outside of your comfort zone and something you've never done before, um, like the way I drill new moves into the muscle memory is like for my warm ups, I'll do a hundred reps of the new move that I'm trying to learn. So when I was trying to learn the T set, for example, or a toe tap, my warm ups would be just practicing hitting them slow. And then I would do a hundred of those and then I would do a hundred of these to get the muscle memory down. So be patient with yourself. Um, repetition is king and practice makes better. So the next move we're gonna do is the cow tail. So the cow tail, I'll show it from the front and also show it from the back. Um, but the cow tail, there are a couple different variations that you can do. I'll show you the full cow tail and then I'll show you the one that we are gonna do um, in today's lesson and then in the next video as well. So the cow tail looks a little something like this. And from behind, let me pull my shorts down. And from behind, like that. Um, what we're gonna do is I guess you could call it the half cow tail because today we're gonna learn just the cow tail like this. This move took me a little bit longer to get down. Um, it does require a little bit of balance, but the way that we are gonna practice, we're just gonna take our right foot and we're gonna put it in a circle behind us. So we're gonna put all of our weight on our left foot and our right foot is just going to do a circular motion right behind us. Boom, 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 boom. Now let's practice with our left foot. Boom. And from behind, it's gonna look like this. And if you have any questions too, or like tutorial suggestions or video suggestions for the future, make sure you comment them below um, because I always check the comments as well. So to do that move a little bit more quickly, we are just going to T-step with one foot. So with our left foot, we are going to T-step. And with our right foot, we are going to circle it behind us. And I know this can feel like you're, you're like, you know, doing one of these things and you're patting your stomach and rubbing your head and you reverse and Simon says, <laughs> so again, slow and steady wins the race. So we're gonna T-step with our left foot and then we are going to 
cow tail, cow tail from behind. And your arms, honestly, when I do this move, my arms just go rogue because they're trying to help me stay balanced. So I, I don't really worry about the arm flow at this point. Um, I just kind of worry about, you know, not falling. <laughs> so cow, we're gonna T-step, T-step, cow tail, combine it. Boom, boom. And now with our left foot, doing the cow tail, and our right foot is gonna do the T-step. So we're gonna T-step. Here comes the cow tail. Yeah. From behind. T-step, cow tail. And your circle does not have to be perfect. No one's grading you. Um, the circle formation that you make. Um, but let's combine those two moves where we're gonna do the T-step variation and then we're gonna add in a cow tail. And slowly, I'll show it to you from behind. Um, so we're gonna start with our T-step variation. Cow tail. And so that wraps up this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Um, and by the time this video is up, the choreography video will be up as well so that you can put these moves together into a little choreo. Tag me on Insta so I can see your grooves. I love seeing you groove. I love you know just hearing that my tutorials have helped you because I wish that all of these videos existed when I was first learning to, to shuffle because there were no tutorials on YouTube, but now there are a lot, so that's really awesome for those who are looking to learn and looking to groove. Um, hit me over on Insta as well. I'm at Brie Kuznick, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I see a light in your eyes.